joint arthroplasty is actually very simple and straightforward. In these procedures, we shave off a quarter of an inch from the joint surfaces and replace them with metal and plastic. That concept is key to a joint replacement. We want to do that without changing the patient's anatomy. We want to do that maintaining the patient's function and actually improving their function. I believe in all aspects of medicine, the less we change mother nature, the better off we are. When I go to a grocery store or a home center, I walk around doing my thing and I also observe the other customers there. When I see somebody who's limping, I notice it, I try to figure out what's wrong, and honestly, I want to help them. When I see somebody with dysfunction or pain, it bothers me personally. I'm an engineer at heart. I want to come up with a solution. I want to fix stuff. And it's really important to me in my management, my care of patients, that I improve their function and alleviate their pain. It matters to me. Conducting a joint replacement is a joint decision between physician and patient. There's nobody who needs a joint replacement. There are only patients who want them and decide that it's the best thing for them along with their orthopedic surgeon. The purpose of a joint replacement is to improve function and decrease pain. When a person is disabled enough, they make the decision to proceed with that if it's offered to them by their surgeon. Anterior hip replacements are a game changer. I did the traditional approach for nearly 20 years. With an anterior hip replacement, my patients have dramatically improved function with lower risk. Those patients are able to get up the same day, they're able to move with less pain, and they have better function than with a more traditional posterior approach. My patients have fewer complications, less issues with leg length discrepancy, less issues with dislocation, and are overall dramatically happier than they were in the past with their traditional posterior approach.